Today, we're comparing ClickUp versus Slack, two tools that help teams work better, but in very different ways. One is built around communication, the other is all about tasks and project management. If you're wondering which one fits your workflow, or if using both actually makes more sense, this video is for you. We'll look at how each tool handles messaging, tasks, integrations, pricing, and more. So by the end, you'll know exactly what to expect from each and how to decide what's best for your team. And by the way, if you want to see how both of these tools compare to others like Asana, Trello, and Monday.com, I put together a free comparison chart. It's the ultimate overview of the top project management platforms. You can grab it completely from free from the link below. And if you already know that ClickUp or Slack is your pick, my affiliate links are in the description too. No extra costs to you, but it does help support the channel. Thank you very much, and now let's get started. Let's start with the basics, what these tools are and what they're built to do. ClickUp is focused on task and project management. It's built to help teams stay organized, plan work, track progress, and get things done. But it's not just a to-do list. It also includes chat, docs, time tracking, whiteboards, automation, and even basic video calls. So it leans more into being an all-in-one workspace hub. Now, Slack, on the other hand, is designed for team communication. Think of it like a digital office space. You can message coworkers, create channels for different topics or teams, and quickly share updates. It's built to keep people connected, especially in remote or hybrid setups. So right off the bat, you're not really comparing apples to apples. These two serve different core purposes, but they do overlap a little bit, especially now that ClickUp has added more chat and collaboration features. Next, let's look at how each one handles communication because that's a major part of daily teamwork. ClickUp takes a more structured approach to communication. Instead of chatting freely in random channels, most conversations happen around tasks. For example, you can leave a comment on a task, assign it to someone, or tag a teammate. That helps keep discussions tied to the actual work. ClickUp has a built-in chat feature so you can still message your team, but it's not as fast or intuitive as Slack. If you're used to tools like Discord, Teams, or Slack, ClickUp's chat might feel slower or less flexible. Now, Slack, on the other hand, is made for fast, real-time messaging. You can jump into a conversation instantly, reply to threads, send direct messages, and even spin up audio or video calls inside the app. Everything feels quick and smooth. You can also customize your notifications, which helps if you're in a lot of channels. But let's be honest, Slack can get noisy fast. If your team's busy, you might end up with dozens of unread messages, pings, and alerts. And sometimes it's hard to figure out what's important. So here's the main takeaway. Slack is great for quick updates and keeping the team vibe strong. ClickUp is better for focused, task-related discussions where you need context and less distraction. It really depends on how your team prefers to communicate. Now, let's shift gears and talk about task and project management, which is where ClickUp starts to shine. ClickUp is built to manage all kinds of projects, from simple checklists to full-on product roadmaps. You can create tasks, set due dates, add custom statuses, assign team members, and even track progress with Gantt charts or Kanban boards. You also get features like time tracking, goal setting, and workload management. Basically, everything you need to keep a project on track. Now, Slack, on the other hand, isn't made for project management. You can pin messages, create reminders, or link to tasks in other tools like Trello or Asana. But by itself, Slack can't help you manage a full project. It's better as a communication hub that connects with those tools rather than replacing them. So if your team needs to plan, assign, and manage work in a structured way, ClickUp does that really well. If you just want a place to chat and occasionally remind someone about a task, Slack gets the job done. Again, it depends on how complex your workflow is. Let's move on to notifications and alerts because staying in the loop without being overwhelmed is a real challenge. ClickUp handles notifications differently. Since it's more about tasks than conversation, you mostly get alerts when something changes in a project, like a deadline update or a comment on a task 
you're assigned to. That means fewer distractions, but some users do report occasional delays or missed alerts, which isn't ideal when timing matters. Now, Slack, on the other hand, gives you instant notifications. You'll know right away if someone tags you, messages you, or reacts to something you said. You can tweak your settings per channel, mute conversations, and set do not disturb hours. But even with those controls, it can feel like too much, especially if your team is super active. You might find yourself checking Slack every five minutes, which isn't exactly productive. So if you want to catch every little update right away, Slack gives you that. But if you'd rather stay focused and only hear about things tied to your work, ClickUp's notification system might be a better fit. All right, let's talk about integrations because nobody uses just one tool these days. ClickUp has a strong list of integrations, over 1,000 apps, including Slack itself. So you can see task updates in Slack or turn Slack messages into ClickUp tasks. ClickUp also connects to tools like Google Calendar, GitHub, Microsoft Teams, and Zoom. It's a more focused list aimed at keeping your project management flow tight. It doesn't try to be a hub for everything. It tries to be the place where work actually happens. Slack has more integrations of over 2.6 thousand apps. You can connect it to Google Drive, Zoom, Trello, GitHub, Salesforce, and pretty much anything else your team uses. It's one of Slack's biggest strengths. You can get notifications from other apps directly in your channels or take action without leaving Slack. But there's a catch. With so many add-ons, Slack can turn into an app switching mess if you're not careful. Let's quickly touch on customization and security since both are important if your team has specific needs. ClickUp uses strong security measures, two-factor authentication, encryption, and role-based permissions. But what really stands out is customization. You can tailor your dashboards, workflows, and even create custom statuses for your tasks. So if your team has a unique way of working, ClickUp lets you build around that, instead of forcing you to change your process. Slack is solid on security too. It has encryption, two-factor authentication, and it's compliant with major privacy standards. You can customize workspaces, channels, themes, and notification settings. But that's about as deep as it goes. Now, let's break down pricing and what you get at each level. ClickUp's free forever plan gives you more right out of the gate. You get unlimited tasks, members, Kanban boards, and even time tracking. When you upgrade to the unlimited plan at $7 per user per month, you unlock things like dashboards, custom fields, and unlimited integrations. The business plan is $12 per user per month and includes features like timelines, advanced automation, and workload tracking. So for most teams, ClickUp's pricing feels more generous, especially if you're trying to keep everything in one platform. Slack's free plan gives you 90 days of message history, up to 10 app integrations, and one-on-one -on -one messaging. Good for small teams, but limited beyond that. The pro plan is $8.75 per user per month, with a limited time offer of $4.38 for the first three months. It includes unlimited message history, unlimited integrations, group meetings, and basic AI features like conversation summaries. Business Plus is $18 per user, currently $9 with the same discount, adding advanced AI tools, single sign-on, and user management features. And then there is Enterprise Plus with custom pricing. Slack's pricing climbs quickly as your team grows, especially if you want access to their AI tools or admin controls. Now that we walk through the key features, pricing, and how flexible each tool is, let's tackle the big question. Do you really need to choose just one? Honestly, a lot of teams, including mine, use both. Slack takes care of fast, real-time chat. ClickUp keeps all your tasks, timelines, and goals in one place. And together, they can work really well. You can even connect them so ClickUp sends updates straight into Slack or turn a Slack message into a ClickUp task with just a click. So if your team has the budget and bandwidth to manage both, that's a solid combo. All right, if this video helped you out and you want to dive deeper, don't forget to get the free comparison chart I put together. It covers ClickUp, Slack, and other popular tools like Asana, Trello, and Monday.com. It's completely free. The link is in the description. And if you already know that ClickUp or Slack is the right fit for you, and you would like to support my channel at no extra cost, you can sign up to either one using the links in the description. 
Thank you very much. I hope it was helpful and I will see you in the next video.